Hey guys, Matt here with Crypto Blick. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Today I'm going to show you how to send Ethereum from your Gemini account on over to your Trezor One hardware wallet. So if that sounds good to you, let's get started and let's make this happen. So go ahead and pull up your Gemini app on your phone, then select Ethereum. From there, you're going to see a buy button at the bottom left. Click that. You're going to see two options a one-time purchase or a recurring purchase. So recurring would be if you dollar cost average in to where you wanna purchase every week, every month, or every day, it's up to you. Um, I strongly recommend dollar cost averaging in, um, but for the sake of the video, let's go ahead and select once. From here, you can put in how much uh, USD or dollars you want to use to spend on Ethereum, or just select one of the buttons at the top for the video, I'm gonna do 100 bucks, then select continue. You're gonna see that uh, there are a couple different options to pay for the Ethereum. I've got two bank accounts set up on the video here. I've got my debit card and Apple Pay set up as well. One thing to know about these different payment methods is that if you use a bank ACH payment, you're going to have to wait four to five business days before you can pull that crypto off of the exchange. If that's an inconvenience to you, you'll have to pay a fee with a debit card or an Apple Pay uh, card, and that's usually a right around right now the video recording, it's $3.50. If you're okay with that fee, great. You only have to wait an hour to pull off that crypto. Uh, but because I'm doing multiple videos here, I don't want those fees, so I'm just gonna select my bank. So then you're going to see an overview uh, screen, shows you how many days you have to wait, uh, I've noticed when I've done this, it, it really does take about five business days. Four, it never happens with four. It's always five business days. Um, you're going to see the order quantity, the transaction fee to purchase, and then that total amount. And then if everything looks good to you, go ahead and swipe to, to purchase. All right, fantastic. So that buy order is complete and go ahead and select done. In order to grab that receiving address on your Trezor, we need to plug it in, grab it from the Trezor suite, and then go ahead and put it in the Gemini account. So let's do that right now. I'm gonna plug it in. And then it's going to ask me for my PIN number. And on my Trezor, I'm going to see actual numbers, and that represents uh, the different dots here. Enter PIN checking my balances, and then it confirms that it is a legit Trezor. I'm then going to select on accounts. Make sure you select Ethereum, then receive ETH. Make sure that you select receive. Do not do buy ETH, do not do send. Uh, if those are an option, you only want to select and grab the address for your receiving address for Ethereum on your Trezor one. So select Ethereum then click on show full address. So then the Ethereum receiving address is going to pop up on the screen. Copy and save that and put it into your Gemini account. I'll show you how to do this real quick, but one statement I wanna make is please double and triple check your addresses. Um, the last thing I wanna see happening to you guys is that you forget a couple characters and then suddenly you've sent your Ethereum and poof, it's gone. Because if you do not have it correct, you might end up sending it to someone else and they'll get free Ethereum or it may not get sent to anyone and you've just lost your Ethereum. So please double and triple check your addresses because you do not want to have that happen to you. Um, this is not like a commercial bank where you can reverse the transactions and fix that mistake. Once you've clicked send, it's sent and it's gone if you did not put it in incorrectly. So please make sure, I want to stress this over and over again that you double and triple check everything on your end so that you know that's going to the correct address. Once you've copied that address, go ahead and come over to the Gemini account, select the account up, the, up at the top right, go to settings. From here, come to the bottom left and select approved addresses. You're then going to select add new address, make sure to select the appropriate blockchain that you're using, Ethereum in this case, 
and then we're going to label what we're using. You're then going to paste the address in the address field and then select continue. It wants you to re-input that address in and then confirm. And so you can see that there's going to be a seven day waiting period for that address to be confirmed in your Gemini account. I always recommend that you input all your receiving addresses. Say, let's say you have a Trezor One, you have a Nano S, you also have a BRD wallet or Exodus wallet. Put all those receiving addresses in so that you don't have to worry about this down the road when you want to put more crypto on a certain product a certain wallet, make sure you just do all the receiving addresses right away, whether you have Bitcoin, Ethereum, maybe Chainlink and Polkadot or whatever that receiving address may be, do them in a batch, get them done and over with so that once those seven day, uh, that seven day waiting period is over, you're done, you have it complete and then you can move on with the process. And just like that, your address is approved for your Trezor One on your Gemini account. Let's go ahead in this case of so the video, let's send some Ethereum on over to your Trezor One. So coming back into the app here, go ahead and select portfolio. Go ahead and scroll on down. Go ahead and select Ethereum under your balances. You're gonna see a card pop up. And in this case, we're gonna select withdraw. From here, select the amount that you wanna send. In this case, just for the video, I'm gonna do around 100 bucks that I'm gonna send of Ethereum on over. Uh, so it comes out to about 101 and 91 cents. Click continue. You're then going to select the approved address. In this case, I labeled it Trezor One. Click confirm. Click review withdraw. Here's a ba basic overview card that you're gonna see with that destination address as well as the amount you're sending the day of. If everything looks good to you, go ahead and swipe to confirm. You're then going to get a text message. Go ahead and put that uh, code in from the message. Click continue. And just like that, it was successfully sent on over to your Trezor One. Now let's hop on over to uh, the Trezor Suite and I'll show you that confirmation uh, within the suite. Once your Trezor Suite is pulled up, you've plugged in your Trezor One and put in the pin. You'll then see the dashboard here with the information of transactions that you've done. You can come down to assets. You can see, okay, for Ethereum, I have that amount here uh, in my Trezor One and the roughly the amount that it is in US dollars. Um, another way you can check as well to see that transaction, go to accounts, come on down to Ethereum. And then you'll see a basic overview here on your dashboard for your Ethereum account. You can see the total up there, as well as a handy graph. Um, and then scroll on down to transactions. Here you can see that transaction that it went through, that it received ETH, the time, the address that it was sent to, and then the amount that you sent with the value on the market currently. And that is how you send Ethereum, in this case, from your Gemini account, on over to your Trezor One hardware wallet. So if you guys found this video helpful, go ahead and uh, like the video so that the algorithm pushes that content out to more people like yourself, but also subscribe to my channel so that you can see more content uh, on a weekly basis when I put it out there. And feel free to leave any questions or comments you have in the comment section. I'll do my best to respond uh, as best I can. Uh, if there's any links I can send you or any explanations I can give in more detail in terms of helping you out with your Trezor One. So um, with all that being said, guys, have an awesome day today. Uh, you're blessed uh, to have another day to live. So enjoy securing your crypto on your own hardware wallet. Have a fantastic day. And until next time, over and out.